A major police group claims Felicia Moore wanted help in her campaign to be the next Atlanta mayor, but shied away from police getting behind her publicly. A rift between the police union and the candidate has become so strained that a national police official flew to Atlanta to weigh in on the controversy. Fox 5's Morse Diggs is in Northeast Atlanta with the story. And Morse, you've obtained an audio recording of the city council president. Yes, that recording was made without her knowledge. It was made in such a way that she has a problem with it. But I will tell you, the number one thing to look at here is that Felicia Moore, she has a reputation as being a straight shooter. Now the Atlanta Police Union is calling that into question. We need people that support the police, not have to second guess the politics of their decision. You're either with the people that protect the citizens of Atlanta, or you're not with the. A national police union leader making critical comments about Felicia Moore, a candidate for Atlanta mayor. The city council president had a conversation with local Atlanta president Kevin Knapp about the process the International Brotherhood of Police Officers would follow as they weighed which candidate might get their backing, which ultimately went to former mayor Kasim Reed. Knapp recorded that conversation. Moore is heard multiple times saying she first wanted to take a poll to see whether the public backing of the police union would help or harm her campaign. If I was endorsed, then Kasim would use his PAC or independent expenditure to spend it in another way, which could hurt in the black community. Test the question about, you know, how people feel about unions. Do you think it's more beneficial to you for not us to, you know, back you or vice versa, but to be on the offensive against him, that may be the play. Yeah, and then, I mean, I, like I said, I'm going to test it. You know, you're talking about the optics or the culture of policing right now would not benefit you in the black community. I mean, I'm not saying it won't. I think that there's several in the black community it would. The question is, how much does it hurt or doesn't? I'm not saying that that's a negating factor, and I am going to test it. Um, and, I, and I would love to have the union's endorsement. Nobody else has done a poll to see if a relationship with the police union would affect them in any community in the city. Every community is screaming for police. They deserve police. I am proud to have the women and men who are standing behind me. And what I assure you today is that I'm going to stand behind them. And this afternoon we got this quote from Felicia Moore with regard to that recording. It's well known that I tell the truth. That's a big difference between me and Mr. Reed. As a black woman with family members who have been brutally beaten by the police, I recognize that policing is a complicated issue. What they claim is not wishy-washy, but a reflection of the current state of the relationship between the police and our community. Ms. Moore says she has a plan to remedy the very big concern of crime all over Atlanta. She says she will put that in place once she becomes mayor. The election's right around the corner, and it's getting hot. Reporting from, more, uh, from Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.